honestly, uh, I see you're at the start of going bald. Confidence level, like this. I'm just sick and tired of it. Just, this is how it looks. I was just um, standing up straight walking and it just felt pretty badass, not gonna lie. You went for it and it's obviously been quite an experience for you, right? Oh yeah. Oh, and, yeah. and, and, and I'm here to listen. You know, we've been back and forth a few times. You've, you've sent me some really interesting videos. So, hey guys, it's been a few days since I've shaved it all off. Um, I let it grow out a little bit longer, as you can see. Just the buzz cut to see if um, that works well or not. And for me, I decided it wouldn't because, as you can see back there, you can see strong contrast between the the hair at the sides of my head and the back of my head and on the top of my head this crown area here and it's just too light and the contrast is too big and uh, I personally don't like that very much so I'm just gonna shave it all off again and rock the bald look so yeah I mean there's not much else that you can do so yeah you got to take it and just keep on living. Another benefit of having finally shaved my head is that um, running and sweating in general is not a problem anymore. Because uh, earlier I used to be always worried uh, because the back of my head that people could see through uh, to my scalp and stuff this is just this problem is not here anymore and this makes me really happy and even more motivated Joshy listen man I'm here to listen I'm really interested to see how it all sort of played out for you you know because even through the when you were shaving it off right a lot of mixed emotions so oh, yeah. honestly oh, yeah. man I'm, I'm here to listen um, and just talk to me man how, how has it all been well Actually, to describe the past week the best is probably to say it was a roller coaster. Yeah. Emotionally and, but primarily good, good yeah. emotions. Dude, you look, you look great, honestly. Like you do. You Thank look you great. so much. Thank yeah. you so much. Like I feel really. You good look now. really good, man. When you sent me that video of you running and stuff, and and like I see you here now, you know you got the solid color tee on, which I love, and exactly, you're rocking exactly. the beard and. Um, you look great, man. So first of all, I think all, I look uh, healthy. So yeah, you thank do, you so much. You do. Thank yeah. you. It, it's great to hear that because I think all, all in all, uh, I feel good how I look right now. And you look smart, you know. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um. All right. I'm gonna tell you how it's been. Like at the moment where I shaved off uh, the hair, also the viewers will see it or have already seen it. Um. There were, as you said, a lot of mixed emotions because, uh, of course, I still would prefer uh, f full hair, you know, like... Like perfect hair. Perfect yeah. hair. I mean, who wouldn't? But um, then, on the other hand, I thought, like, okay, that doesn't look so bad like I've expected it to, to look because I always thought my head would be terrible for... for being bold, which I don't really think anymore. I think it's it's quite all right. Yeah. Um, and then I looked at myself, and at first, I, like all this adrenaline rushed through me, and I was like on hype. I, I went down to my parents; they liked it very much. Uh, I sent a Snapchat to my girlfriend. She says she loves it. And then I went out for a walk with a friend, and he said, "Dude, you look badass, man. It's, it's just..." Like the first day was amazing, like no doubt. And then I posted a, a picture on Instagram uh, just to get it out there. I posted a before picture, a picture from the situation, especially at the back of the crown, and then uh, the new look. And yeah. reactions from what I've heard at least were, were primarily good. Uh, there was one thing which I didn't really like and which Still, I think it's true, but I just don't like it very much. But I'll learn to live with it. And the thing is that people say I look older, obviously. 
Yeah. And this is for most guys, maybe for guys who had a really, really bad hair situation, like they may look younger. Yeah. But um, I still had some hair on top there and it still could look all right and um, so when i shaved it off when i shaved it off most people i think were shocked kind of that knew me well most of them again were saying it has style it looks badass um but most of them were also saying yeah you look older and yeah. but in a good way in a healthy way you yeah. know um so this again made it great because i still do care about how um, my friends and family um react to my appearance um but i think this this you look older is something you gotta live with and yeah. it doesn't necessarily have to mean something bad yeah so and i think yeah. and really really quickly i just want to touch on as well it's like because 100 percent as well i look older than you know how i look older with the shaved head and the beard than i did when I was like no beard and the you know the the nice perfect hair it's how a, it it's, is man exactly that's a that's given it but it's like also I you have to kind of remember you have to kind of remind yourself and this is kind of like you have to think of it from like an out how do I explain this you have to think about it logically right in a yeah. sense that you have to remember that the hair it was easy to kind of get caught up in in, th in like comparing the new look the older look to when like we said like that perfect hair oh, yeah right oh, yeah but definitely. yeah and i have to remind myself that that wasn't a look that was going to be sustainable anymore because my hair was falling out right so it's mm. like you have to almost compare this new look with the the look and the feel how you feel when it's falling out rather than comparing the new look to how it was when everything was perfect do you know what i mean mm, oh uh, yeah i do and and it's like when you do that you kind of think like oh yeah i kind of let's not get too caught up in in thinking like because you kind of forget about the situation because like you said just this crazy new look and stuff oh, yeah you, you oh, do yeah. forget about how you felt and how it was was when you're in that like balding phase or whatever and i think it's just um yeah it's like for, for other people as well like wow like it looks different but you, do you know what i mean about this thing where you you comparing um wh when you go with the look it's easy to to compare that to the perfect you oh yeah oh, but yeah. when in reality it you we you know that perfect you wasn't the current situation when you shaved it off do you um, know what i mean there is no perfect you because exactly uh back there i also had not many but i had insecurities yeah. Um, which just were compensated by the hair loss when it started. Mm -hmm. um, so I think in every stage of life, you've got to deal with insecurities um, regarding your your appearance. And also going bald is just, it's a cut in your life. It's a cut and it, it, with almost every cut, there is a noticeable difference afterwards. Uh, and people and yourself too, got to get used to it first. Mm. And I don't think it's going to be a big thing in, a, in half a year or a year anymore. Not even. I think it's just I have to get used to it. I got to live with it. And um, it's just something I can't change. But human species is really, um, really um, gripping on to habits, you know, like habits and to stick to what they're used to, what we are what we are used to. And we're this is how do i explain that they feel really like well. fear change right humans exactly. they like exactly we like to be in our comfort zone we don't like oh, yeah. to get out of that don't like yeah. to change experience new things no, it's like no and that's like you said in human nature that's a way for us to protect ourselves yeah. right we stick to what we know because we're safe we're safe in our little bubble both physically and emotionally and then any anything that's going to make us strive out of that anything that's going to get us out of that comfort zone out of the norm where it's it's just not in, in built in us it's innate oh, yeah. that we're going to fear that because change means you know danger or we're not going to be accepted in the group which is yeah. a risk yeah. to our survival you know literally like you said it, it's in human beings like in our genuine nature to fear those things exactly and we don't want to get older also and so yeah. we compare ourselves always to to the past and to when we were young and when we were 
uh, you know, more perfect than it seems now. But mm -hmm. actually, if you want to turn back time, you got to go watch a science, science fiction movie or something. And yeah. Try then with no hope. You yeah. know, I, I always happen. No, I always mention <laughs> this um, this thing about how if you can build the courage to get yourself out of that comfort zone and go into that vulnerable space and, and take that chance, you know, and, and, and make that big change. Mm. I really think that that is when you, 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 the rewards come from doing those things, you know, whether it's, um, you, you're going to go for a new job or you're going to move to another country or you're going to end a, a bad relationship for a, you know, for, for some time on your own, whatever, any big change, you know, like shaving your head. I really think when we go through those, we just learn so much. And I think for a lot of guys, this whole hair loss thing is a massive one for a, ch a chance to like, you know, learn about yourself, what you're capable of, like how mentally tough you are, you know, where your confidence really lies in terms of all that stuff. Like, how has it been through, you know, the first week or so afterwards? What have you sort of no Have you noticed any changes in yourself, how you how you view yourself, how you sort of even view other people or certain situations. It's good that you mention it because I think this past week, although some people may say, including my brother, for example, yeah, well, you just shake your head. Yeah. And I don't think people can fully understand what it is like to go through balding, especially at, at a young age. Um, so it's been, it's been pretty impacting because uh, I learned a lot about myself um when it comes to accepting the fact that i was in a severe state of anxiety about right. you know getting older and yeah i also um compared my anxiety when it comes to hair loss um to other parts of my life which i mentioned in the in the text the that i wrote and um exactly in the writing and I compared it to uh, the habit that I had um, of smoking. Yeah. For example, uh, I've been a smoker, not a really strong smoker, um, for pretty much as long as I've been losing my hair. Right. Maybe that was some sort of compensation. No one knows. Uh, I always wanted to stick out my whole life in some way. Maybe that was a compensation mechanism or something. And I realized that actually um, people us young people who are balding are not much different and this is going to sound weird from addicts yeah in, I'm, yeah in we're addicted to our younger self and we're addicted to to our hair which is gonna go eventually and so are drug addicts when they're um faced with actually the imagination of them not having their drug anymore they're just in a state of terror. And um, this is what I recognize for myself too. That, And also it, the really good thing was I managed to shave off my hair. I managed to overcome this huge insecurity that put me in a sickening state of anxiety. And I overcame it and set things, you know, straight. So I thought, okay, if you did this, which was your biggest insecurity. Why not fix another insecurity of yours? And this is smoking. Like I noticed and I realized about myself that I in some way just wanted to stick out in, a, in, in some sort of way, either with perfect hair or uh, with, you know, um, as I was in my teenage years, maybe be act cool, you know, if you smoke. Yeah. And this is just, I learned a lot about myself, but I also learned about me that I can change things for the good and I don't need to stick to old habits all the time to just to be myself. Yeah. It's, it's quite the contrary thing. Yeah. So yes, like being being open to like making those changes, you're learning more about yourself, right? And and it just allowed you to yeah, I guess just look at situations differently. I, it's the thing. It's like when you strip things away, you you get rid of things that are causing, in your case, you know, that anxiety or, you know, that negative focus. It gives you more energy 
you know to kind yeah. of think like you said think about other areas of your life where oh, yeah. things you know might not be right or you're just kind of spinning your wheels just going round and round with with certain bad habits or or whatever and it, it it's strange isn't it just by stress taking something like that away you're you're down to like mm. your your bare bones of like yourself and and then you can kind of really just think it just, it's, it just allows you to think more clearly do you know what i mean not having so many distractions like that you just oh, yeah. think think oh, more yeah. clearly yeah um such a drastic change actually also um changes your perspective on on how you perceive things and how you perceive yourself as well um and i just got this introspection way more of myself you know um, mm. as i mentioned in the in the previous time we talked it's some sort of meditation to me because i'm i've been more present in the moment and i've been thinking more about myself in the current situation and not in in a in a in a past situation or in a future desired situation i was just mm. thinking about how i how do i feel now yeah and um i actually felt free good good i felt free overall not 100 percent confident yet but free. yeah do you think um like you said you you've managed to kind of show family members you've put a post out there on instagram and, and yeah. things like that you've managed to kind of get out there but obviously given the the situation in the world at the moment being on this lockdown do you think that has been a help or a hindrance to sort of allowing you to be fully confident in yourself because it's strange isn't it i think in some ways it allows you to it gives you that bit of um, reassurance that you can safely take the step, but then it, it prevents you from getting those reactions out in the world, which is maybe building up a bit of even less, you know, possibly a bit of anxiety or not allowing you to be fully confident because you're still thinking, oh, when I go out there in the street, how are people going to react? I mean, what's your experience been in that regard? Well, this is actually exactly the question that I posed myself um again and again in the past week, would it be better if the current lockdown situation wouldn't be here? And I was like, in one way, yes, in one, and in another way, no, because first way, it gives you this some sort of distance and you can approach things gradually. And you're which, in time, right? Which sometimes can be a good thing, not mm. always. Confrontation is really important, but sometimes it's it's better in a gradual way and sometimes it's just in a full exposure way. yeah just straight um, in at the deep end exactly yeah. i think when lockdown is gonna end and just people are gonna be out in the streets parties start again university starts again this will be a second milestone that i have to take yeah yeah because um people are going to see you in real life not on an instagram picture where you look, um, how you would want other people to see you. So yeah. this is certainly going to be interesting, but I think it, it, it's it's going to make me stronger again. I don't think there will only be like nice comments all the time, um, which life is not perfect and life doesn't um, actually wire its ways like you want to. So you yeah. just got to learn and deal with it. Um, I'm actually looking forward to it. Good. Because uh, I like, started to like confrontation a lot. Yeah, you, you t like pushing yourself, you know. Um, exactly. It's good to, yeah, I guess, suppose this is, again, when you build up to getting out of your comfort zone in, in regards to the hair situation. Yeah. Because, um, you know, don't forget, when, when you're in that state, we just want to keep in that comfort zone, whether it's, you know, styling it nicely to kind of conceal it from ourselves and others, you know, not really talking about it, using different products, right? That's very much to keep us in that comfort zone, a certain, you know, because we're used to dealing with it like that. you got to get out of it. Man. And, yeah, you know, when you when you take that step and get out of your comfort mm. zone with shaving it off, it like you said, it seems like you're excited to find other ways to do that. Like you said, you know, with giving up smoking, um, you know, taking up, I don't know, any, any more sort of positive habits. And then, obviously, for you, it's going to be getting out there into the social circle and just yeah. show a new look. I am just a... My nature is pretty actually pro-social and pretty extrovert. So yeah. um, I don't think it's going to be such a big thing for me. Yeah. But it's definitely going to be a, a big step. And um, also what was funny was um, 
the, the next day after I shaved my head, I was like, all right, I really don't want to go out there right now because I feel like, oh, okay, people maybe are going to judge me for how I look right now because it was just a drastic change. But I put my fucking jacket on. I just went out there yeah. with the bald look and it was not comfortable at the beginning. But right. in the end, I noticed people that I didn't know were actually just greeting as, as usual. And I was greeting back, of course. I was just um, standing up straight walking and it just felt pretty badass, not gonna lie. Uh, yeah. It's just um, putting yourself out there, how you really are, just does something to you. You feel proud, you know? I did. Proud so, to do it, yeah. In some sort of way I did because yeah. I felt stronger when I did it. And yeah. yeah it, it gave me a lot of confidence, definitely. Good. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm glad you did that because that's one of the things, again, you know, if you can just get out there and, and just get in front of people, you know, yeah. and whether yeah. it's good reactions, whether it's no reactions a lot of the yeah. time, you know, just yeah. like you said, simple, yeah, hi. Exactly. You know, and you're Another like, oh. bald guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I love it. So listen, through your experience, you know, obviously, as we've said, it's been quite a learning curve for you, um, you know, mixed emotions. Oh, Is yeah. there anything you think that um, other people can benefit from the way you've kind of tackled it? And and so kind of even the, the, the few days afterwards, anything that has helped you that might be able to help other people? Um, what I always tend to use when it comes to that is the running away thing. Um Balding guys that worry about their hair loss got to realize one thing. They're running. They're running away and they try to run towards something they once were but can't be anymore. And there are alternatives. There are hair systems. There are hair uh, transplantations, uh, yep. hair transplants, um, which may look nice in the end, but when you actually want to be yourself maybe it's not the right solution for you and what i want to tell all these people that are currently worrying and bowling is stop running away and face who you really are and if this requires shaving your head do it and it won't be as bad as you think it will and you'll survive and you'll get over it and you'll start to like yourself more. I'm pretty sure about that. Yeah. So, yeah. It's like, it's like a huge, I, I honestly, I see it as the, it's the harder step to take, you know, making that big change. Like we said, it is hugely getting out of your comfort zone. It is the harder thing to, it's, it's a harder thing to do. I think than to continue to, you know, look for new ways to, to cover it up and to hide from it. That was fucking, I was yeah. suffering. Man. Yeah, because like, it's a huge change, you know. Mm. Um, but if you can do it, like you just said there, you really can just make such a huge improvement, you know, like tenfold improvements on the, yeah, cer on the current situation. Rather than, it's like, it's almost like a sinking ship, you know, when your hair's fallen out and all the different remedies are just like a little bit of tape over the holes in the ship, you know, but it's still going down, still going down. Mm. <laughs> and, and, you know, and it's yeah, like, yeah, I totally agree. And eventually it's going to sink and you're like, oh, but it's, it's like the shaved head route, just for an analogy, it's like, okay, the ship's going down and you just jump that what, ship onto a new ship, you know? That's like a completely different ship, but you know, you made that jump and then you realize like, oh, this is actually way better than continuing to fight that sinking ship. You know, yeah. it's it's really you're, interesting. You're capable of so much more than you think you are. And this yeah. is something I really got to realize on all sorts of uh, all sorts of things. Um, the human body and mind is, is is capable of so much more than one may think it is and it's just another thing in the end it's, it's a big step up first but someone you look back and i also think i will just look back and think oh yeah once then i shaved my head and it used to be a big thing for me but now it's just like it's laid open you know you can't do anything else about it yeah. there's nothing to hide from now it's just you have a shaved head whatever yeah 
Brilliant. And yeah. Um, also, one thing that I, yeah. I thought about me before I had a girlfriend and where I was dating a lot of girls. And um, I just want to give it out to the guys who are worried that girls aren't going to be attracted to them anymore. This might be. Not all the girls, especially young girls, like bold guys. Yeah. But you're not automatically unattractive. You're not going from attractive to unattractive just by going bold. Um, attra attractiveness is so much more. And maybe for those girls who don't like your bold look, maybe it's not a really smart decision to run and try to get that girl because it's most likely not going to end up well. Yeah. When you're balding or when you're bald actually already, just try to be yourself, try to be confident, and there will be girls who like it. There will be girls. A bald head doesn't make you automatically unattractive. There's so many more confidence. Yeah, yeah. No, I, yeah, 100% agree. You know, being attractive and, and like you said, natural attraction comes down yeah. to so much more. Oh, you know? yeah, it does. And it's and again, it's like so if you can, if you, there's a certain amount of pride again as well is in just being yourself mm. and and being successful in that. You know, it's it's really a great thing. So um, no, listen, Joshy, it's great to speak to you again, man, and I'm I'm really pleased to be always. Here.